they beat them right out of the gate on the on the uh, people watching. That is uh, not good. That is wonderful. It's curiosity too, and they have to understand that, and they have to be prepared to produce a better show than what they did that first week, the second week, and continue on with better and better and better. And that's what they have to have. They have to have that attitude and that belief that they can do it. I absolutely, totally agree. You think that next week it will kind of be more of the same? You think that it will hook the fans and that they're going to continue to win? Do you think it's going to be a struggle at this point out? I think that, well, if you, uh, you know, you can't uh, turn shit into uh, a great meal. You can put whatever you want into there, but you can't do that. And uh, that's what Vince is doing. You can't believe it, but he has become repetitious. uh, He has become uh, stagnant, repetitious. Uh, Some of his stuff is totally overbearing. And uh, that's just the matter of truth. And you've got something, you've got a fresh flower coming up right behind you. It is so cool kind of what they've been able to do and be different and be fresh and kind of get people interested. And it seems like they have their own kind of audience. I mean, it was, well, I think it topped off at 1.8 million viewers. And, it, you know, the average was about 1.4, 1.5. So they definitely have interest. Well, and here's the thing is why do you think that you have that many viewers? Now, it's not all curiosity. You understand me? It's because the people want something better than what producing. Mm-hmm. Right. You follow me? Your fans definitely want something different. Do you think that it's like lap fans. It's those fans that used to watch. They're dying to come back and watch again. Of course not. Hell, we're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's fresh new fans looking for a damn change, looking for something different, looking for, you know, they've, uh, they're not wanting to play, uh, what the hell was it? Uh, an idiotic football game that lasted how many how many games? Two, the first time, one, the second time. He tried to produce football. Mm-hmm. Yep. Now we say go act at it again, uh, XFL. You know they're going to go at it again. Mm-hmm. They still got it. They're not playing now. They're gone. Yep. They're they're gone. They're in a some goddamn uh, rat house somewhere. But that one didn't last. Uh, the second time he tried it was even worse. He tried it two times. Right. And the second time was even worse. Yeah. You know? Like I don't know if if it's Vince getting older. You know, maybe, you know, obviously he's in the 70s, you know, he's getting older. Maybe he's not as focused on wrestling. Do you think that could be a problem? He's not as focused on wrestling anymore? Oh, I, you know, the, uh, you know, I think it holds true that the older we get, you know, but no, not really. It's a, what it is, is it's uh, the inability to change. You follow what I'm saying? Yeah, his, uh, it's an inability to do it because, the, and it's an impossibility. Now that is the truth, because you become attached to people, you uh, become, and that that not only includes your wrestlers, 
but it includes creators. You become attached to them, and they become uh, they become stagnant. They become old. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And uh, and they become repetitious. The water's uh, getting dirty. Do you think that he's going to change? They better filter it out. Well, that's it. The water's getting dirty, and they better filter it. You think that with WB now going to be on Fox and SmackDown is going to be on Fox, you think that he's going to change a lot of things now to try to make sure that it's it's you know different than what he's been doing for years? He can change, but he can't change his his uh, characters because that's something that wrestling is. We are who we are, and we are even whenever we're established as something. We go in the ring. We are not actors. We are wrestlers. That's his fault. That's his. He feels we're actors. I am not an actor, never was an actor in my entire life. In fact, I never went into the ring. I would go ahead for whenever I was champion, whenever I was anything. It didn't matter. I go in and they'd say, uh, they come in there and they'd tell me what was what we were to do in the match, not not what we were going to do, but uh, uh, we want you to win, Terry. Okay, I'd go in the ring and that'd be it. Go, we want you to go Broadway. I'd go 60 minutes, uh, and telling you the truth is I'd go them and I never talked to a soul. Went in there and did it. Go over there and tell them that. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, call it in the ring. You don't kind of script everything in the well, back. I don't know. And... Nothing is a script. I never worked a script in my entire goddamn life. Hmm. That's what's so ridiculous because they got people that can't go out there and create. Yeah, everything is writ- written for him or scripted or it's it's on a teleprompter kind of thing. It's it's not the guy being himself and going out there, and, and which is why they're saying mm-hmm. AEW is so much different because the AEW, they're saying, they're able to create and able to do their own promos and things like that. Well, that's it. Well, you don't know if they are or not. Let's wait right, see. right. Yep. Because uh, it's, it's awful easy to go ahead and have a great first show when it's the first show and you got to, a lifetime to create it. 